there, welcome back. And yes, we're back to the second week. Welcome to Live on Cult Fit. And I'm back, your friend, your host and dost. And I'm super excited for week two. I hope you are as well with some new movements and an amazing workout lined up for you. Are you excited? I hope you've been doing everything that I've been asking you or rather requesting you to do. Let's go straight into the warm up. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready for some shoulder rotation? Yeah, some good upper body work coming your way. All right, let's go. 30 seconds. Okay, just follow me, okay? One second and go. Big rotation. You already know these movements. Yeah, take it forward. A few deep breaths. And to the sides. Yeah, one side to the other. Lower body firm. Keep going and done. The next one is the toe touches. Really open up the entire, you know, posterior chain. Keep your feet wider than hip width. Reach for your leg, just opposite sides. And the other hand traveling all the way up. And your eyes following the hand on top, okay? 30 seconds. Let's go. Oh. Keep your knees locked, fully extended. Don't need to bend those knees. Ah. Feeling the work. Ah. Glutes, hamstring, calf, <sighs> upper back, your hip. Keep going. <sighs> Toe touches. Three, two, one, and up. Relax. Take a breath. Sip of water. Do you hear that, peacock? Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do now, you already know. We're going into the core segment. So our first movement is the plank, of course, but this time we're doing a little bit of travel in the plank. So it's like around the world, okay? So go to a high plank, head to toe, one straight line, palms beneath your shoulders, okay? What we're doing here is going to the left and to the right, okay? So if you don't want to take two steps, we're okay to take a single step. So we go one, two, one, two, one, two, yeah, that's it. So one step to the side, back to the center, to the other side. My beginners, try doing this. And if you cannot or you fatigue at any point, just stick to the high plank. Ready? 60 seconds. Go. That's it. Easy peasy. Slowly, okay? Yeah, around the world. How are we feeling? I, do you actually, you know, sometimes feel like, oh my God, I don't feel like working out. You know, and it's just nothing really. It's just the mind. It's just some very, very, you know, this lethargic, lazy feeling. Almost at the end, don't stop. And done. Beautiful. Feeling the work on the shoulder? I sure am. The next movement is a sit up with a hip up. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Not done before, all right? So we've done the sit up, but let me show you the combination, okay? So you're down on the floor, knees bent. We're doing the regular sit up. We've done this last week. From here, we immediately go into a hip up the tabletop, okay? One more time, up, up, okay? 
that's the speed we want for my beginners remember for the sit up you can just work the upper ab don't have to come all the way up or you can stay here go down come up go down engage that midsection okay and then you can also do the tabletop or the hip hop all right just break it down in 20 seconds or something you can do three different variations are we ready let's go and up sit up and up isn't this powerful i love it hit it up we go keep going halfway push it up use those shoulders up sit up and hip up love the combination explosive push come on almost there give me one more team and relax it's a skater jump okay so we've done skaters before yeah for everyone who's not done it all we do is step kick back step kick back step kick back okay that's all we do and beginners you can go step touch down step it's not a curtsy lunge so don't have to go down at all touch rest of us are going to go boom boom kick back kick back ready okay 60 seconds and go that's it you have to kick diagonally you can even take a broader lateral hop if you'd like working the obliques keep going halfway i'm already burning sweating it out but when you start the week with like a powerful workout you know on the monday you always really feel charged up for the entire week don't you i do keep going almost at the end come on push 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 towards the end two more and done hi how are you feeling what's next you ask well you know it's time to hit it yeah kill all those blues with this hiit guess what i have everyone's most favorite move yeah you may have already guessed it's the burpee <laughs> yeah mm. so we're going to be taking it easy okay in the sense not easy easy but we can modify the burpee typically what we want to do everybody watch that's your common movement that keeps coming in this hiit okay so palms on the floor jump out all the way down chest to floor come back up jump in okay and a slight jump up that's all right you can also choose to palms on the floor step out you don't even have to go down to the floor step back in jump up that's another modified version the other one is where you just step out step in come back up step out step in come back up so choose which one you would like to stick to and just stick to that keep challenging yourself maybe push it up a notch dial it down completely in your hands but i'd like you to push it with me okay ready 30 seconds work 15 seconds rest burpee and go come on jump out touch down chest to floor jump in and jump up everybody tells me how much they detest burpees but i actually like them they're a great fat burner full body movement 
almost there. One more. And rest. Okay. The next one is your kick throughs. Okay. What we want to do here is focus a lot on the upper body, right? So, all fours. Okay. Knees off the ground. Take your right leg out. Okay. Under the left leg. Bring it back in. Left leg out. You don't even have to lift the hand. Keep your hands down. So you just go legs to the side. That's it. Okay, keep your hands down. The legs keep moving one side to the other. Easy, right? My beginners, take it really slow at this speed. Just go out, back in, out, back in. Rest of us are going to pick up speed. Ready? Go. Oh my God, are you feeling the work? Come on, stay down, core fully engaged. Almost there, done. 15 seconds rest. Oh my God, did you feel it? I felt it. I think I can feel my love handles, my obliques melting away. All right. Now is your time to take it easy. Yeah. Walk around. Get water. Oh. You've done awesome. Hmm? You did amazing. It's week two, day one. We're going to stretch now. So take a deep breath. Inhale. Expand your stomach, exhale. Yeah, try that. Inhale and expand your stomach, exhale. Draw that belly button in and exhale deeply. Okay, ready? Let's go to some stretching now. Come on. Start with the floor. Fully extended, child's pose. Drop your hands down. Let me put the timer on and go. <sighs> if you fully extend your hands and you start like using your fingers to crawl forward, you will feel the stretch here, exactly where the side kick through hit you. <sighs> Hold. <sighs> Hold. Hold. And up. Now from here, just sit down. Your hip between your feet. Now just take your arms all the way around to one side. Turn back and hold. You can even push your hand at the back. Hold it. And the other side. Wrap your hands out from the back and the front and turn back. Feeling the work? Shoulders, bicep, tricep, back. Lats everywhere, oh, the upper body, yeah. And release. From here, we definitely do the cobra and mountain because we want to open up those hip flexors and abdomen from all the work and up. Hold. Remember, relax shoulders, elbows soft. Chin up, chest wide open, abdomen opened up, hip flexors. Hold on. And now slowly curl your toes and push up. Ah. 
mountain. Heel on the ground, head between your hands, push it forward, push your head towards your toes. Don't bend the knee. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, crawl back. Gently, rise. Okay, it's all in our head. That is a slow, you know, uh, coming out of, you know, of the feeling of lethargy. But if you start being active more often, Believe me, by the end of four weeks, it becomes a habit and you will not know what lazy means. I promise you that. But otherwise, depending on how you're feeling, don't forget to also keep getting your uh, blood test done every six months. Just very good to understand what are the deficiencies in the body because that's what will help you, you know, with a very healthy, longer life. These deficiencies cannot be underestimated, okay? So I'm gonna sign off on that note. I just want you to, again, keep in mind, you need to be active, get your steps done. So the challenge I'm giving you for today, and I'd like to see all of you share this with me, is that you have to get to 10,000 steps. Walk around in your house, walk outside, but we want 10,000 steps. That's the challenge that you start today and do it for the entire week. I know we spoke about it last week, but this is a challenge, okay? Let's do this together. Lots of love. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.